Shot down by a sidewinder. We have more details on that downed Chinese spy balloon over the U.S. Shot down by an Air Force fighter jet over the weekend. That F-22's missile taking out the recon balloon as it hovered over Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The debris field now 15 football fields by 15 football fields, White House spokesperson John Kirby says. He also added that the U.S. will gain valuable information from both the surveillance and now recovery of the balloon itself. For more, let's bring in ABC News Senior Pentagon correspondent Louis Martinez, along with ABC News contributor, former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for the Middle East, Mick Mulroy. So, Louis, China says that the U.S. overreacted by the shooting down of this balloon and actually launched a formal complaint with the U.S. Embassy over the incident. Seems like they're a little bit more embarrassed than angry. I mean, let's get real. Well, Kira, you have to take it seriously because you don't know exactly how the Chinese are going to react. Um, diplomatically speaking, yes, they're responding very forcefully. Um, but again, remember, as you pointed out earlier, I think, during the last hit, the Chinese believe that this, uh, they've told the world that this was a weather balloon. Um, and yet, how do you correlate their strong response about the United States action uh, with the shoot down of a weather balloon? Um, unless it was something else, which, of course, the United States believes that it was. The United States um, continues and in emphasizes strongly that this was a surveillance balloon, part of a fleet of Chinese surveillance balloons that apparently has been years in the making and that they have been spotted around the world. So why is this the first time, Lloyd, that we're even hearing of this? If this is just one of many and they've been spotted around the world, is it because it, it came down lower than, than before and we were actually able to see it? So that's the only, only reason why we've known? So what triggered the interest of the U.S. government was the fact that uh, this balloon, as it made its way across the Aleutians into Canada, slowed down uh, over Montana, specifically slowed down over Malmstrom Air Force Base in the missile silos there, and continued down towards Nebraska, uh, also above Offutt Air Force Base, which is the home to U.S. Strategic Command, which controls those ICBMs. And so that's what really triggered the interest. Now, what we're learning today is uh, that NORAD, uh, the head of NORAD, come, told reporters reporters just a short time ago that these earlier instances, these earlier incursions uh, in the United States were brief, but, the United, but that NORAD had not picked them up. So it was something later, probably U.S. intelligence going through the information on determining that these were actually surveillance balloons. And so when they caught this action of the slowdown, they determined at that point already they knew that it was a surveillance balloon, um, but this was something that they knew about, but they did not know about let's say, three, four years ago. Got it. All right. So, Mick, what does this mean for American-Chinese relations now? So, Kira, certainly in the, in the short term, it's going to cause uh, a pretty big rift. We've already seen Secretary Blinken uh, postpone his trip uh, to Beijing because of this. Uh, but I do think, you know, both countries uh, collect intelligence on each other, and we both try to prevent the other one from collecting intelligence. This was an embarrassment to the United States. I think we will do quite a bit to ensure it doesn't happen in the future. The exploitation of this material will also likely give us the ability to detect and, and interdict these uh, balloons in the future. Uh, but that's something we're going to have to do, but we're also going to have to get on with the business of diplomacy and work together as China and the United States are two significant powers and we have many common interests and we need to be able to work together. But we have to be better at protecting ourselves from these type of intrusions. Absolutely. And, and just to follow up, Mick, on that, the data that we could find inside that balloon, what specifically uh, will we be looking for? So I think we're going to be looking for the type of collection devices that were on board, whether it was imagery, whether it was SIGINT. We'll also be looking for what they actually collected, because we want to know what they think they want to know, and we want to know what, what they don't know, right? Because it's going to be collected, hopefully, and we'll be able to see that. We're also going to try to figure out just exactly the signature of this type of uh, surveillance balloon and the type of um, signals that come out of it so we can create a signature so that our radar systems will be better able at collecting this. Like Louis said, this happened before and we did not detect it. So we obviously have a gap. We need to figure out how to close that gap so it doesn't happen again. Louis, Mick, thanks guys so much. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.